So that was really silly. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe I should put something on in the background here so it doesn't do that to me again. Wait, maybe I should change my settings. Um, settings. All right. Um, screen time? No, that's screen time. Display. There we go. Auto lock after 15 minutes. Let's set that to never for the moment because we don't need to have to restart the stream again. That is just not cool. Not cool. All right. Technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Rx, I don't have any emotes for you. I think Twitch gave us the ability to use follower emotes, and then they took it away. It's like something they gave and then took away. I don't understand it. Where are my follower emotes? And I should have some subscriber emotes. Oh my gosh. So I did have a question for you, Rx. Um, now that you're not busy killing zombies. Your mouse racer that you have as your stream logo. That's pretty cool. Did you draw that yourself? I lost my mouse on the screen here. Where to go? Looks like that's all of our treasure. Now we have to do something else. Defeat level two barbarians on the map. Ooh, I don't know if we can do that yet like we might have to level up our our guys oh the map is way down here okay search for barbarians defeat barbarians to receive abundant rewards let's search for some barbarians Ooh, they're hiding in the forest we want to attack them yes Troops. This one's going to take us 21 seconds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're killing barbarians. Oh no, we took some damage. Oh no, we might we might die. Oh, don't die. Oh, we leveled up. Okay, we had a victory. Huzzah! Victory is ours. Party! So, collect our treasure. And we also get more treasure there. So, oh, I need, where are we? We are, I have no idea where we are on this map. Oh my gosh. Does it tell us? Yikes. Is this us? 
That might be somebody else. Okay. How do we go home? Oh, you just click on that button, space, little map, and it brought us back to our house. Okay. Um, I think we should probably upgrade a lumber mill to level two. Let's do that. And then probably click on the little hammer. Lumber mill. Yes. Oh, I didn't, like, um, realize I could move these. I could probably move this wherever I want. We should probably put it over here. That's going to be really noisy. Okay. Um, so that's busy working. Oh, we have to upgrade it, don't we? We better do that. We need more wood. Um, 15 seconds is fine. I'm okay with 15 seconds. We need to heal and collect one unit. So, oh, that's a little band-aid. Let's do that. Heal our troops so they can go back to sleep. How do we collect units, though? Collect one unit. Oh, I don't know. Build a lumber mill. Upgrades. Okay, we shouldn't be leveling things to level three yet. Take precautions. Upgrade storehouse to level two. Where's our storehouse? Oh. It's right there. Okay. I hope we have enough wood and corn for this. I wonder where it tells us. Oh, we have... Oh my gosh, we have 103,000 pieces of corn and 107,000 pieces of lumber. I'm not sure where they all came from, but we've got them, so that's good. Our storehouse is now level two. Nice. Oh, we need our explorers to have a, a good camp, so we want to upgrade that too. These are so speedy. I love it. Look at our builders just building away. Yay. You know, it's kind of weird to have the tents in the middle of the camp, so I'm, I think I'm going to move them. Let's throw them back here in the corner. Wait, go back. Go back. Can I move them in the corner? No, because it gives me... I've got trees in the way. Let's put our... Can we rotate this? Their entrance is in a weird spot. Alright. Oh! Click on you and push you. Put you right here. Give me a green space. Too close to the trees or something. Okay. There we go. That's better. We get a present for that. The tavern. The troops need their alcohol. So let's do this. Upgrade. Yeah, there really isn't much space. We need more, more ground space. Especially if there's going to be more buildings to build. Yay! The Vikings have booze. They're gonna get really rowdy. So I think I should move them. I don't know why all these trees are in the way. Why are there so many trees in the way? We're gonna put the tavern on the opposite side of town as <laughs> the troops. So then they can walk off 
um, walk off their alcohol going home. They're sleeping right now, so we gotta be quiet. Shh. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, they just they just walked. I moved the ground from underneath them, and they walked over and fell back to sleep. That was hilarious. Uh, ignore. I don't know what's going on this in this chat room down here, but we're just going to ignore that. What's going on down there? Okay, so we upgraded that. Rain of arrows. Upgrade our archery. Yeah, yeah. That takes 30 seconds. Oh, we've recruited 20 archer units. Cool. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Set your nickname in the governor's profile. Okay, so we don't want to be this governor with a bunch of numbers, right? <laughs> what should our governor's name be? Arx, do you have an idea? It's a viking. Your army, she sleeps. You see a z I know, right? The army is sleeping. <laughs> we gotta be quiet. <laughs> I mean, normally when I get a pop-up for a name thing, I just put my name. But maybe you have a better idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go take a smoke, smoke break. And accept, I'm going to write, I'm accepting nicknames while away nickname ideas i'll type nickname ideas here we go so anybody has an idea of what to name the governor of this fine viking town i'm gonna go take a quick smoke break We'll name it when I get back.
give you an example <laughs> of Pocahontas. Uh, Pocahontas... So she's a Native American, and I guess that could kind of work, because the Vikings invaded uh, North America first. So, I mean, that could kind of work, but um, I'm not sure about Pocahontas. <laughs> it was a good, it was good, though. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna look it up quick. Viking women names. See, I don't know that there's very many Viking women women names. Viking women names. Oh, actually, I got a strong Viking woman name. Hey, there was a movie. There was like a Disney movie with kind of a Viking woman, wasn't there? I can't remember what that was called either. All right, so the top four all begin with an A. Abalona, that refers to the sun goddess. That's actually a Finnish name. Um, Agnitha, it means pure or holy. Anika means grace or favor. And Annalena, which I have to actually go to the website to see what that means. This is a website with 130 Norse female names. I'm so loading very slowly. It's one of those with a lot of ads on it, I think. Um, scrolling down. Now I can't remember which one we were looking at. Annalena. It's a Swedish name meaning graceful light. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So there's 130 choices here. Um, let me look for the D names. Okay, so we've got Thalia. That's a Swedish name that means valley. And that's actually, that's the only D name. Well, there's one that's called Darby, but that reminds me of something else. And it's a deer park. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's go with Dahlia. It means a valley. Oh, that's already been used. Oh, okay. Hmm. Vikings Valhalla. Okay. That's gonna be it. Perfect. Oh no! <laughs> it's already been picked. <laughs> Wait, if we leave... Oh, no. That one's already been used. Um, hmm. So that one's already been used, Rx. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay. All right. Here's an E name. Elia. Which means strange. I mean... I'm kind of strange. That would kind of match. So maybe Vikings Elia. It fits the character limit. Yes or no? Should we do it?
The Land of the Strange Vikings. <laughs> okay, we'll confirm it. Woohoo! Okay, let's do that. We've got two gifts, and it looks like we have stuff to collect here. Got corn and wood. And our archers and our soldiers are busy sleeping. They sleep a lot. Actually, it looks like it's nighttime that we've got torches out around our perimeter. Okay. Ooh, we collected 100 pieces of wood so far. Um, let's see, what else needs upgrading? A friend of the tribe. Claim rewards from one tribal village. Have we um, helped any villages? I don't think we've really helped any villages yet. So let's go back to our city. Upgrade a commander to level three. All right, let's upgrade our city hall first. Upgrade, yes. The upgrade can normally take five minutes, but we can use items to speed up the building process. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that. These are pretty fast, generally. We'll leave that alone. We don't need to speed it up. Upgrade the farm. Because we need to eat. Uh, no, we'll just put it in a queue, right? Hire extra builders. We can sign a two day contract to get builders. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll wait. What happened with our explorers anyway, by the way? Like, where did they go? They're standing by. I thought they were out exploring. An unknown world is enveloped in, in the fogs of time. Let's go send our scouts out. Yes, send them. Wake them up. They need to go to work. So they are out scouting. I'm not sure what all this, these red notifications are for. Maybe we should look at them. We've got mail. 16 messages. Holy buckets. That gives us our, our battle information. Cool. We are not part of an alliance at the moment, but you can join alliances with other people. Oh, we get to claim more stuff. I thought we already did all this claiming. Oh my gosh. What is this? Ooh, fog exploration is complete already. A scout report just came in regarding the the situation on the other side of the mountain. After the end of this chapter, whether or not the objective is achieved, camp wanders in the kingdom and their chieftain, Iron Hand Bolur, will grow stronger. They will seek out an opportunity to attack your troops. Be on guard. Oh my goodness. This is the one that we completed right here. Wild competition. That chapter ended. What's our update? <clears throat> okay, so the history. I see. This, this, we should go all the way to the beginning of this. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. You don't understand anything in this game. There are too many things to manage. There are does seem to be a lot of things to manage here. Um, but from playing previous mobile games, and this is like a mobile game, what I can tell you is just look for the little red dots and 
click on it and eventually stuff happens. <laughs> And the best thing to do is just take it one step at a time. So we scroll, we have this scroll here. It's giving us the history of our, our gameplay. It says 20,000 governors entered the Bronze Age. So we entered the Bronze Age when we started the game. So we're going to claim our, our prize. Oh, we have to wait till... It tells us we can't claim it until we're level eight. Okay. We uncovered the clouds. We have to be level eight. So we have some leveling up to do. Um, we defeated some barbarians along with a bunch of other people. So we get some prizes for that. So all of these are things we can't claim yet. This one, the first encounter. 65 sanctums occupied for the first time. We made some alliances. Yeah, we can't we can't do that yet. Okay. Let's get out of that screen because we don't know what all that's about yet. I don't think we can do any of these until we reach level 8. That was by clicking on the little uh, person icon there. Okay, let's click on this scroll. What does this tell us? This is an event calendar. Oh, there's stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. So they have events, probably daily and weekly events that you can participate in. Goals to reach. Okay, makes sense. What is this little soldier icon down here telling us? Oh, we, er we learned a talent. Every commander has their own talent tree, and they will receive new talent points every time they level up. Okay, so we're leveling up. You can assign talent points as you like, according to the traits of different commanders. Besides, you can always use item to reset commander's talent tree. Alright, so we've got one point. And we can go in the conquering tree or the skill tree, which I imagine they get to learn new things, or the infantry, they get stronger. Well, he's a commander, so we kind of want him to know stuff, right? Let's pick this. Increases the attack of all units led by this commander by 5%. 0.5%, sorry. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yay, we got a skill. Now we gotta, so that was our guy. Now we gotta look at our girl archer. I don't think she has anything to level up yet. So her skills are just skills, peacekeeping, and archery. And it looks like you're not locked into things. Because there's this reset button up here in the top right. So if you pick, if you go in the wrong direction, you can fix that. All right. It's definitely not action packed because we're not killing zombies. I'm wondering where the zombies are in this game. Maybe we'll, we'll find them during Halloween. I don't know. Let's 
find out where we are in building. So our city hall is level to three. Yay! We got a lot of wood for that. Nice. Now we still needed to upgrade our farm. It is really tiny right now. We have a lot of people on our map. So hopefully we can feed them all if we upgrade. That actually doesn't take very long. City hall was longer. Look at the little workers! Yay! Oh, wait. I want to build another... Do I want to build another farm? No, I don't think so. That's building. Yeah, it's telling me to build another farm and another... Or maybe we don't have an alliance center yet. What is this? Allows allies to assist your city. Okay, I guess we gotta build another farm. We are really gonna run out of room here. Let's put a farm right there. I think we should move move our other farm so they're together. There. Okay, and then it wants us to build an alliance center. Uh, hmm. This is for visitors to come and visit us. So maybe we'll put it by the door. Nope, I don't have enough. I don't have enough room! No. I guess we'll put it by the explorers. Yay! So we get presents for that, and we've produced 500 pieces of corn already. Nice! All right. The next yellow thing is saying set your avatar in the governor profile. Oh. Let's see what do, what do we want? Oh, it gives you options. Nice. Of course, there's a bunch that are locked here. Oh, look, the Egyptian ones. Oh, she's cute. Or we've got some skelly faces. We need to unlock those, though. Okay. I don't know what to pick. So I'm leaning more towards this girl or this girl. So we've got pink or blue background. What do you guys think? Someone's got brown hair. Or black hair. My hair is black, so I would probably go more with the with the black haired girl. Black hair? Okay, let's do that. Oh hey Manoush. Hello, hello. How are you today? Thank you for the raid. Oh, come on. Twitch is being really slow for me today.
Oh, whoops, I put the wrong thing in front of that. Now, have you guys gotten to play Zombie Army together? Because I think you guys are friends. And uh, Manoush added me on PlayStation, so he does have a PlayStation. I'm going to have to play Zombies with him one of these days. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you today? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> Good. Is it also afternoon for you? It's 8 o'clock in the morning for me. And right now I have a sponsored stream going on. So we're, we're looking at this... Um, this game, Rise of Kingdoms, and we're just picking out our avatar right now, so I'm going to choose that, and there's a little red dot here, so always look for the little red dots. Ooh, we get to pick a frame. Oh, look at this pretty frame. Let's, let's go with that one. The rest of them are locked, but I like this purple one. Yay! So that's our avatar. Sweet. Okay. And we get presents for doing that. Yay! We love presents. Oh, and then the little thing popped up down here. I'm not sure what that is. There are many different items you may acquire from time to time. Click here to view your complete inventory. Oh, that's our inventory. Okay. Nice. These resource items are protected. Even when your city is sacked, use them wisely. Ooh, that means we're going to get attacked by people. Yikes. All right, so this is where we go and put in... Food. Daily objective, do more, more with less. So we're giving the city food. Or locking it? I guess I'm not really. Grants your city 1,000 wood. Yes, we want the city to have wood. So I think if you were to play and you were to join... Uh, somebody else's camp or village, create an alliance or whatever, you would want to put your food into your storage here. Not really sure. It will take me a while to figure that out. Okay. Let's see, what else? This is, maybe we should look at our bulletin board. What is this? Oh, it just was a thing. We collected it. I'm not sure what. Let's go defeat some more barbarians, because that's always fun. We want to do level two barbarians. Ooh, and there's some right over here, right outside our camp. No, that's our guys. No, those are the barbarians. Yeah, we don't want them getting closer. Let's march. We gotta take them out before they come, come knocking at our door. Ooh. 
Ooh, we took some damage. But they're gonna die. Look at that. They died. Victory! Woohoo! Let's go back to our space. Oh, this little P helmet thing. It's giving us information. Ooh, we learned a new talent. So we get a skill to, to place. Let's see. So we are going with the skills. We're learning skills because our commander needs to be smart. So it looks like we need three more things here before we can branch out. Um, this increases the defense of all units led by this commander by 0.5%. So that gives us a total of 1% buff, right? Increases the defense of all units led by this commander by 1%. Nice. Oh, I don't have any more points to spend. Okay. So we're making progress. That's good. Our commander is getting smarter. So these are the the other cat commanders that looks like we can recruit later. Oh. He looks mighty. Mm. I like his flag. No, was that French? Because it kind of sounded like it could have been Charles Martel. So I'm guessing you would probably start, if you were to play this game and you were to create your own kingdom, this guy would probably be who you would start with. Ooh, Caesar. Hannibal. Istanbul. The fanciest robes in the world are only half as handsome as a military uniform. Cool. Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> Very good French body. <laughs> wow, and it just keeps going. There's a whole lot of things you can do, or people you can have here. Sicily. Oh, she's cute. So that's fun. I wonder. I wonder how you unlock those. Besides just starting with a certain area. MDR. I'm not sure what MDR means. <laughs> okay, we get treasure. Mighty General. Upgrade a commander to level 3. Yay, we did that. Cool. And they're sleeping. Look at all of our troops. They're just sleeping. 
And while we were exploring stuff, we got some corn and some wood. And now we have to heal our, our warriors who went to battle a little bit ago. Okay. Ooh, now they want us to defeat level 3 barbarians. I'm not sure if we're ready for that. Are we ready for that? Maybe we should um, upgrade our farm first. <laughs> That takes 60 seconds. See, basically all you have to do to get get things done here is just look for your quests scroll and look for all the little dots. So pretty simple, something you can do um, in your spare time, like when you're waiting in line or for an appointment or just trying to go to bed. Um, there's also a lot of extras. I mean, if you really wanted, if you really enjoyed history and you really enjoyed building a military, they have a whole bunch of links that you can check out, um, to go explore the civilizations and whatnot. So that is... A it can be as simple as just clicking and building, or you can really delve into the history and extra stuff. We upgraded our farm, yay! Claim rewards, we have to, we have to um, get rewards first. We haven't made any friends. We haven't rescued any villages. Troops, upgrade the lumber mill. So we're just going to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I'm not sure how long it, what the requirements are to upgrade your city hall. I'm going to look at that next. Because we might have to also upgrade these other buildings or add more things um, before we can do that. I know, right? They're just kind of lazy, aren't they? Just snoozing. There's a recruit thing over here. What is this about? I clicked on it. Oh, that's oh, that's our tavern. I forgot. <laughs> Let's upgrade our tavern. But maybe our soldiers are all sleeping because they spent too much time at the tavern. It's possible. Upgrade lumber mill presents. <laughs> Defeat three barbarian troops on the map. Okay, so let's go do that. We're going to search for level two because we know we can probably beat them. And they're hiding in the forest. Ooh, that looks like a giant. That's level 14 barbarians over there. Let's stay away from them. We're just going to attack these babies. <laughs> Dispatch a new troop. So what happens? I thought we could maybe pick the archer lady, but I don't see her here yet. Okay. <laughs> We've got a flag bearer. I hope that level 14 group of barbarians stays over there. We've almost taken them out. Yes, we got them.
Let's go back to our town. We upgraded the tavern. We defeated three barbarian troops. <clears throat> Defeat level one plus barbarians three times. Oh my gosh, look at how many presents it gave us for just doing that. Nice. Okay, now we can upgrade our barracks to level three. So that's this one, I believe, right? Yep. Let's see what happens with the troops while we're building. Do you think they're going to sleep through it? Mm, they're kind of standing there. <laughs> it looks like the builder was powdering the, the troops. That was funny. Yay! Level 2, but we want level 3. Everything else is level getting to be level 3, so let's do another upgrade. I can't tell if things are changing in the little picture. I just know the builders are working hard. So that one takes a little while. Um, we've got supplies. We've got a red ruby. Ten of them. Nice. It grants... If I click on this max button... Oh, I can only pick one. I guess I want to use that. We received ten gems. I'm... I guess I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now, but I'm clicking buttons. I'm just a button pusher. It gave us food and wood, so that's cool. Alright. Our barracks is now level 3. We get a present. And they, I think they slept through the whole dang thing. For real. Alright, let's upgrade the archery range. Yes. What what happens if I click on this? What does that do? Oh, that trains them. Maybe we should build first and then train. You know what? I probably should have... Actually, this is the training thing, isn't it? That takes 25 minutes, so let's do that. Oh, now they're moving around. They're hitting each other with axes. Okay, cool. They're gonna do that for 25 minutes. Let's upgrade our archery range while they're busy doing that. Um, what else can we do? Our builders are building currently, so we can't build anything. Recruit. Recruit archery units. No, they're building. That's the tavern. Oh, hey, we get treasure. A speed up boost, a brand new starlight sculpture. What do we do with that? And a Sarka sculpture and level three tome of knowledge. Uh, yeah, we want that. And we get three free treasure chests here. We got another sculpture. I wonder where we put the sculptures. I mean, we're gonna, we don't have room for sculptures. Where would we put them? Get another free one in five minutes. Okay. Let's exit. Oh, my mouse, my mouse is frozen. Come on, mouse. Oh, it was because it was doing something in the background. 
Got a present there. I wonder where our statues are. I'll have to figure that out one of these one of these days. We got. Yes. Uh, my friend Luna and I have um, a monthly giveaway, and you can find the information at this link. I don't really have any giveaways for this particular game. It's the first time I'm playing it. I've got a sponsored stream right now. We're playing Rise of Kingdoms. But otherwise, we have a monthly giveaway. Uh, we do a loot spinner. And you can get tickets with your channel points or by following. Or there's a whole list of things there. I'm a little tired this morning because I worked all night and I jumped into this game and so I apologize for sounding a little sleepy. We have some good loot. For sure. Okay, what did we do? We upgraded our archery place and our troops are training. Oh, it's really easy to lose your spot on this map. Okay, we're looking at our city. Our archery range is level three. Let's train these guys. They're kind of sleepy looking, but we're gonna wake them up. They, they need to wake up and do some training. Now we've got to upgrade our hospitals. Let's do that. Oh, we're only level one. So yeah, we need to upgrade. That doesn't take too long. Upgrading to level two is really fast. The other ones start taking a little longer, but that's why you can just push a bunch of buttons and then walk away from it and let it do its thing. So we've got lots of things going on right now. Upgrade the storehouse. Where was our storehouse? Do you guys remember what that looked like? Was it this one? Governor, the storage can protect some of your resources from plunder. Oh yeah, we need to we need to secure that. Hence, it is very important to upgrade storage to increase the resource protection capacity. Absolutely agreed. Yes, we don't want those barbarians stealing all our food. Okay. Oh, we've got to probably wait. I think we were building something else, weren't we? What happens if we hire? Do we have any scrolls? Oh, we must have had a scroll because we just signed a contract. Cool. I wonder how many things they can build for us. So we've got two things being built. Our warriors are training, so we can't go out and fight, probably. Um, upgrade a commander to level four. We still... Where did we find our commander, guys? Is it this one? Yeah. Each commander has a unique set of four skills. Okay. Once you have collected enough commander sculptures, you can oh, use that's what the commander skills here. That's what the sculptures are all about. You can also upgrade commander skills by exchanging universal sculptures for the sculptures of any of your commanders. 
Oh, so you got to trade with people. I see. So we got sculptures, but they were for other commanders, not ones that we have. So I don't know that we can... Um, participate in this little thing yet. Every upgrade will increase the level of an unlocked commander skill. <clears throat> Chosen at random. So, but we have a couple sculptures. I don't know where they are though. Maybe they're in our in our mailbox. I'm not sure. Okay. So that is to be explored yet. Ooh, our storehouse is finished. What about our, what you call it? Yay, our troops are healed. Upgrades scout camp to level three. These were our scouts down here. So let's upgrade that 60 seconds. A stable. Do we have a stable yet? Lumber mill, recruiting office. No, that's the tavern. Storehouse, our city hall. I don't think we have a stable yet. Alliance Center. Okay. So we gotta build. Oh, but we can, we don't have anything unlocked here. These are all the things you can build. Farm, lumber mill, a quarry, a gold mine, an academy, a shop, oh, a little graveyard. Well, it says it's a monument to honor the pioneers of civilization. A trading post. A Lyceum of Wisdom. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. A courier station. The storehouse. The alliance center and a builder's hut. Oh, that adds additional building cues. I've already built the maximum amount. Okay. So, well, let's look at City Hall. How do we upgrade? Our city is oh, we have to build a level three wall. And now we are about to enter a brand new era. Okay, well, we... After a successful upgrade of our City Hall... The Great Bronze Age shall finally arrive. Ooh, we'll be in the Bronze Age. Cool. But we need to build a level 3 wall. It's only level 2 right now, and those barbarians, they're dangerous. And sneaky. We need a better wall. What does this do? As you can see, the wall is here to protect our city as well as mm. the citizens. And you can check the state of the wall and manage garrison commander. Okay. If the enemy defeats the garrison, our city will start to burn. No, we don't want it to start to burn. When the durability drops to zero, our city will be teleported to a random place. Oof. The yeah, we don't want that. We'll lead our troops to defend the city. If the garrison commander is not in the city, the commander with the highest level will be appointed as the temporary garrison Okay, commander. so when he's gone, our markswoman will be in charge of defending the wall. Okay. Good to know. Yes, that is who I picked. All right, how do I exit this now? Oh, there's a little X here, sorry. <laughs> I'm blind. Ooh, we got presents. 
upgraded the wall to level three. And now can we upgrade city hall? Ooh, that takes 20 minutes, so we better start that. Hey, but we have one of those timers. I wonder if that would work on building. Because we've got some in treasure boxes. Yeah. Oh, we have a lot of those. Okay, it reduces the time of any one queue by one minute. So we have 18 of them, apparently. And now it's just going to take 30 seconds. Yay! That's awesome. Was it level 4 or level 5 we needed to build a stable? I forget. Oh, I forget. While we're waiting for that to finish. Oh. <gasps> we just entered a new a new age. <gasps> oh my gosh, what happened? There's fireworks. <laughs> That's freaking cool. We have fireworks. That calls for some confetti. Yay. The new age is always exciting. Ah, uh, here's so where they want some money. We're not going to we're not going to do that. <clears throat> it is all up to you. First recharger bonus. Oh, you, you get a new commander for 99 cents plus all of this stuff. Well, because this is a sponsored stream, I will play the video. <laughs> I like a sword. So you get to recruit him for free on your first recharge and claim fantastic rewards. Okay. Well, I like a sword. I'll give him that. <laughs> Let's see if we can build a stable. No, we can't build a stable yet. We can build a quarry, an academy, and a monument. Mmm. You know, we're going to run out. I don't know how people are going to walk around here because there's going to be so much stuff. Oh, somebody just messaged to say they want us to join their alliance. Do we join an alliance? Yes or no? Should we do it or should we be choosy and wait? What do you guys think? Should we view what, what they've got? They've got a lot of power. Their leader's name is Fluffybit. Their territory level is three. When you do an alliance, they have a gift level of two. And they've got 58 of 59 members, so we would be the last to enter until somebody leaves. What's required is a minimum power of 80k. Do we even have that? I don't know what, what these mean. Maybe we need more information before we do such a thing. We should probably just wait. I'm just going to X out of that. That's probably somewhere in these notifications. Alright. We were in the process of building something. It's a quarry, so it's going to be really noisy. Uh, we don't want a lot of noise by our, our troops or by our visitors. 
but we really have no room. Um, can we, let's put it on the other side of the farm. There we go. And then we can build an academy. That researches new technologies. That should be over here somewhere by the city hall. That works. It fits there. We'll put it there. And a monument. It honors the pioneers of civilization. So that looks like a park piece. Where should our park be? Somewhere in these trees. Can we put it back here? This map! Why do they have so many things covering all the spaces? What's up with that? Alright, we'll put it by our soldiers. We've got corn. We've got wood. Um, our military. Oh, I think we need... Oh, here's our stable. That's what we wanted. And putting it by the gate is probably a good idea, because the soldiers are going to want their horses. Yay! Oh, and then we have to upgrade it to level 2 to get a present, because we love presents, yes. And it says we can build another thing for the military. Another hospital. Where are we going to fit in another hospital? Oh my god, we're running out of room. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, wow. Okay, if we could combine them into one building, that would be better. There are currently no wounded. Hey, that means, you know what that means? Are warriors finished training yet? They are not. They are not finished yet. Five minutes to go. And those guys have nine minutes. Okay. Oh, we got a present. Upgrade the Alliance Center to level two. There's starting to be so many things on here. I'm not exactly sure what's what. Oh, this one. Okay, upgrade that one. 35 seconds. Pretty easy. Okay, this is... Let's... Let's see if we can do that. Search for barbarians. We want level 3 barbarians. Oh my gosh, look at it. There's a 15 and a 17 and an 18. I don't think we're strong enough for those yet. Oh. It is a smart choice to obtain Commander EXP and other items by defeating tons of barbarians in this kingdom. Yeah, we want to defeat all the barbarians. The yes. To challenge the stronger barbarian troops. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Dispatch our troops. March! Come on, Vikings, you can do it. Yay! We did it! Victory is ours.
Okay. We get presents for that. Presents for owning two farms. Presents for exploring. Presents for upgrading. We reached, oh, we reached power level 1,500. Yay! We upgraded City Hall. We built a quarry. We are just completing all kinds of things here. Build an academy. And upgraded the Alliance Center. Now we need to start one technology research. So that's probably at the academy. Yep. Quarter, quartering. Quartering. <laughs> quartering. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do that. Whatever. However you pronounce it. I can't pronounce that word apparently. It's a quarry. And it's an action. <laughs> Oh my goodness. While we're doing that, um, I'm actually going to go take a restroom break. I got to pee. And I'm going to smoke quick. And so I will be right back. You guys are interested in any of this the civilizations that are available in this game, they have provided a link that I'm going to try to copy and paste here. If you want to go off and explore a little bit. And if you're interested in getting the game and you haven't yet, I believe this is my command to show a link for my link. Yes! If you use that link to download the game on PC, it gives me some credit. That would be sweet. I will be back shortly.
Okay, so I don't know why that posted two times there. That's interesting. I am back, by the way. We have presents. We love presents. Okay. More presents. 50. We healed 50 soldiers. Actually, we probably need to heal some of our soldiers that went out into battle. Yep. There's some, there's some soldiers that were wounded. There are all kinds of things to click on here. So we got corn. Um... Our soldiers had a thingy. Our archers have a thingy. Our research is complete. We've healed some people. All right. That's like a lot of... That feels satisfying. A lot of things got done. I'm not exactly sure how we recruited archer units, but that's cool. Uh, we completed research cor coring. Yep. And we collected 5,000 pieces of corn. Awesome. Now we want to upgrade our stable to level 3. That was this one. Oh, look! Our soldiers are sleeping on their horses. What the heck is up with that? Uh, that's a little silly. Poor horses. So that's going to take a minute. Alliance Center. We're going to upgrade our Alliance Center. No, nope, that's the bulletin board. But there we go. And we do have a contract with some builders. So we've got extra builders. I don't know why our soldiers are always sleeping. Research a technology two times. Should we start some more research? Oh, that's upgrade. Let's upgrade our... Oh, the build... Yeah, we can't make another contract. It looks like I pushed the wrong button. Research. There we go. Should we do irrigation or learn how to use a handsaw? My preference would be irrigation. But it's also, it could increase our wood production if we went with handsaw. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's a soldier thing here. What's this icon? Military discipline. Oh, we need military discipline. Yeah, let's research that. We want, we want smart soldiers. So we're going to leave that alone for now. We got treasure. Our alliance center has been upgraded. There is just so many things to do here. Like, I want to go explore some more stuff. But I don't know if we should do that quite yet. Maybe let's see what we need to upgrade. What is this? That wasn't there before. Oh, we can change the picture. <gasps> what? Oh, it's February. We should do that one. I don't know if we can use that. Can we actually pick these? I'm not sure I can use any of these because they're grayed out. The 
This is pretty cool though. Oh, we could have a castle with balloons. Okay. Well. Let's see what this says. Special attributes. Hmm. Oh, we can change it from night to day. I don't know. Is it going to let me pick this? How do I exit out of it now that I've clicked on it? There we go. Well, the city hall doesn't look like it's changed. So I'm thinking there's something we have to do in order to unlock those. This tells us where we're at. Got a lot of zeros. This is our military buffs. Okay, we've got a lot of zeros there too. So there's a lot of work to be done. I think mainly following this little guide to the left is our a good option. There is a little one clicked down here. Oh, we got a skill. We got a sculpture so we can upgrade. Yay! That brought our commander to level 2. And his skill is to deal direct damage to the target... Increasing their skill damage taken by 4% for 3 seconds. Nice. I like it when stuff happens. That's cool. I want to know how I can upgrade her though. Because she hasn't done anything yet. She's got to earn some XP. So maybe I should pick her the next time we go out. I'm going to actually, so I'm going to click on this little map and I'm going to search for some barbarians and let's search for level one barbarians and see if we can't pick our archer. Oh, here's some level one barbarians. Those poor guys don't know what's going to hit them. We're going to attack them. But, okay, so this guy... We want the girl, though. Here we go. There! We're gonna march her out. She needs some skills. So we're gonna get her some skills. She kicked ass. Yeah. Sweet. And we defeated five barbarian troops on the map. Awesome. And we sent them out five times. Treasure, treasure. Let's go back to our town. We've got resources to use. Confirm. I guess I'm not really sure what these things are doing, but um, we should do them. I'm not sure why there's a little red dot up here either. Oh. You wanted to make sure to do this. Increasing your VIP level can provide a number of great benefits to governors. Okay. Every day, you can claim one VIP free chest whose contents get better as your VIP level increases. Sweet. Each new VIP level unlocks a corresponding special bundle, some of which contain legendary commander statues. Okay, 
so you can get an extra one for 99 cents. We're not gonna do that. So we still have a lot of points to get here. We need to reach six or 200 to get uh, probably level one. All right, our soldiers have some stuff. We can finally upgrade our archer. Um, so we we did go with the skills for our other commander. Maybe we should go a different route with her. Maybe we should get her stronger. Increases attack of archer units by 1%. We'll go that way. Okay. Nice. We've got corn and rocks and wood. And we've got to heal some people. Uh, maybe we should train somewhere. We'll do that. Upgrade the farm. Let's do that. The lumber mill. Our troops are training at the moment. Um, upgrade a commander to four. So our guy has to go out and fight some more barbarians. But they're training right now. It looks like they're working hard. Oh, this is our history again. We're not leveled up enough to click on any of these, I don't think. Oh, maybe the- No, we have to be level 8. We're not there yet. We need a level 4 wall. Let's do that. 10 minutes. Maybe we can speed that up. Oh, we've got these ones. They're almost done. The farm and the lumber mill. I forgot we just did that. Almost done. Almost done. Yay! We're upgrading the wall. We can speed that up because we do have speed timers here. That is 10 minutes and we have 19 of these 5 minute things. So let's use 2 of them. Oh wait, it's already done. Okay. Nice. We need to upgrade our tavern. Yes, because our soldiers like to drink. This is a fact. Um, I'm feeling like maybe we could speed that up just a little bit. There are a lot of people walking around in our camp. All right. Oh, we got presents. We love presents. Okay, now can we upgrade our manor? Or city hall? I guess that's the city hall. Oh no, we need a level 4 hospital. Hospital next. Two minutes. I don't want to wait two minutes. I'm going to use some of my speed timers. We'll do one more. There we go. Oh, they changed. A look. Okay, what's next? Oh, 
We can do it. Does that say 60 minutes? Okay. We have a 60 minute timer. <laughs> Yay! I think we just upgraded to City City Hall level 5. Awesome! We've got some scrolls. No, we still... Were there some things we could claim now at level 4? No, not yet. Or level 5. We need a few more levels. Um, I wonder if we can go defeat some level 4 barbarians. This this might be dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna use him. Well, I was a smidge worried, but I think we've got this. Victory! Yay! And we got a talent point. Nice! Let's heal our troops. Gotta do that. Click on the helmet. Because he just got a new talent point. So we still need one more of these after we place one there. And then we can pick a new direction to go. I like the music. Alright, you know, it's been a while. No, they're still training. Those guys are still training. Let's get our presents. Recycle five trees in your city. Oh, does that mean we get to open up more space? As you can see, our city is not a small town anymore. It is growing rapidly. However, the inner city is becoming crowded. Maybe we yeah, no kidding. Once your city hall reaches level 7, you can use the city editor to replant them if you wish. Oh, cool! So we're going to recycle some trees, but we can plant more later. Um, yeah, that one would be a good one to recycle. Let's recycle that. I think our monument would be good for a part. So I, I'm going to see if we can't recycle. Um, and fit it over here. Oh, we've got another recruitment offer. Let's check it out. They are Egyptian, their territory level is 8, and their gift level is 3. They've got 49 of 65 members. And this is in a different language, and I do not understand it, so I'm going to say probably not for now. Appreciate the offer. But I would be lost. Okay, I was trying to recycle some trees. I don't want to recycle the maple. I like the maple. I need to get rid of some of these ones. Is it not? It's not going to let me. It's just going to take certain trees away. 
So I guess I have to go with that one. Recycle two more. Yeah, it's just kind of picking what it wants me to get rid of. Well, now I can click on those ones, but I want to click these back here. It won't let me. It won't let me do it. That's so sad. One more. I don't want to do that one. We actually need space to build stuff. These are just kind of random. Yeah, it won't let me pick another one. Fine. Okay. Um, oh, decorative. Oh, those are our trees we just got rid of. Oh, we can have coconut trees? I wonder if that gives us coconuts, too, because that's, that's our fruit. Oh, I want a willow tree. Oh, the pretty flowers! Oh my gosh! I want a flower tree and a willow tree and a coconut tree and a bamboo. But not yet, because um, we need to build some stuff. A siege workshop. This manufactures mighty siege weapons. Um, yeah, let's see if that'll fit on here. It should be by the other soldiers. Okay, maybe... We can move this, I mean, somewhere else, like, I don't know. I'm going to put it there for now. The tavern, can I move that a little bit? Let's move that there. I wish I could rotate the buildings, but I... If it's possible, I am clueless. Alright, we'll put that next to the tavern. Because I want our soldiers to be next to the siege workshop. Yes. There. And what, what do we do with that? Battering ram. Simple structures that can inflict massive damage to wooden gates. It's a nightmare for many cities. Yeah, let's, let's train some people on that. We've got corn and rocks and trees. And we can build another lumber mill. Oh my goodness. We should probably put that by the previous lumber mill. Can I move this back now? See if the tree is gone. There. That's much better placement. Sweet. Upgrade our quarry and let's build a shop. That should be by the tourist center. But now our hospitals are in the way. Oh my gosh, we'll put a hospital in the back. That's for the really sick people back there. Let's see, what else can we do? Upgrade the barracks. I think we're going to speed these guys up. So we've got a 10 minutes. Or that's 5 minutes. Okay, and then we'll use a 1 minute. Ooh, I've almost used up all the 1 minutes. I got to be careful. I push the buttons really quickly. Oh, the swords have some stuff going on here. What's this? 
Different battles will lead to different combat styles and experiences. Employ your leadership talents here. Expedition. <gasps> what is all of this? Welcome to the expedition. By completing missions and expeditions, you can earn increase the amount of daily rewards you receive. Medals of the Conqueror can be exchanged for commander sculptures in the medal store. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started. One of eighty. First completion rewards. We get some stuff. And then we get some daily rewards. So I guess we're gonna do it and see what see what it does. Mission target. Eliminate all enemies. Complete mission in 60 seconds. Lose less than 50% of our units. Ooh. So we should probably use um Oh, what are- th I don't know what these are. They're not our guys. We're gonna use our guy. Bjorn. Cause Bjorn has the most experience at the moment. This is who we're going up against. Okay. We're going against the City Keeper and the Centurion. It says piece of cake. I don't know. If this is going to be a piece of cake. I'm going to click the button. Let's do this. Oh, I actually got to... I've got to do stuff. Oh. Okay, I've got to move them. Oh no, we are surrounded. We got rid of some guys. Oh, we won! We won the big battle! We did it! We got three stars for that. Bjorn, you kick ass. Thank you. Uh, so that says go to the next level. I am not 100% sure that going to the next level quite yet is a good idea. And, oh, we found the metal store. We can buy metals. But we only, I only have 105 coins available. Um... All I can buy right now is wood, a speed timer thingy, some corn, or one statue, a centurion sculpture. Or the star level of any commander with the same rarity level. So, I think before I do anything like that, I should wait. And I think we're probably not going to go on another expedition quite yet, but that was interesting. That's new. Right now, we're just trying to learn stuff and upgrade. So, our academy, I think it's completed the military discipline um, and we've also got the quarry thing and I think we're going to go with learning how to irrigate so let's do that, research that um, train 20 cavalry units I th which ones are cavalry <laughs> These guys, right? Infantry. Uh, 
Okay. I'm gonna click on the button and then it tell Oh that's our that's our horse guy's stuff. I knew that. Okay. They're the guys who sleep on their horse. They definitely need some more training. Now they're down there hitting each other with sticks. Yep. Looks about right. That looks about right. So we're training. We recruited. We recruited. Um, oh, our explorers are ready to go out exploring. Let's do that. Let's send them out. Explore. Where are we going next? I think we only have the one ex explorer group at the moment. So there he goes, off running to the forest. Then he's going over here. Let's follow him this time and see where he goes. So these are other people's uh, kingdoms, it looks like. And there's some barbarians hanging out. Oh, I think he's returning home. Yeah, he's coming back to tell us what he did. It doesn't look like he did much exploring. It mostly looks like he rode around on his horse. It's like, oh, I saw some hills, and now I'm going home. He needs to go do some more exploring. He's, he's got a lot of work to do. So we're going to send him out. And then we're going to go back to our space and see what's up. We've got to upgrade the quarry. Yes, yes, please. Two minutes. That's not so long. And then our barracks. Which is this one where the soldiers are sleeping. We're going to wake them up rudely by building around them. Mad Destroyer? Recruit 100 siege units. Oh. Oh, thank you for cheering. So sweet. Got some corn. You did it again? Oh my goodness. Is this like a competition? <laughs> so silly, so silly. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to play a game here. <laughs> Woo, <yeah. laughs> Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, we have some some lumber and some more corn, and we've got a present. Okay, upgrade the quarry. I thought we just did that, but I guess we need to do it some more. And our explorer must be back so we're going to send him back out again. He is just too lazy. He needs to do more exploring. I'm not really sure what this one is. 
claim rewards from one tribal village. We're gonna follow this green line. Oh, the green line went away. Oh no. This is an alliance resource point. Oh. It will provide a steady output of resources for your alliance. How will I remember that? I just got some coins from this place. I guess I'm not really sure. Alliance members will receive a portion of the resources mm. produced by alliance resource points. That's why you want to join an alliance. So it is beneficial for all members to help build new fortresses and flags to expand Alliance territory. Okay. Alliance Gold Deposit, Alliance Gore, Territory Earnings, They are pretty powerful, it looks like. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we want to do that or not. I'll just click apply. I don't know. Upgrade our watchtower. Oh, that's the things on the outside. Cool, let's do that. And our explorer returned, so we finished that one. We did that one. We opened a silver chest and- oh, we did? Okay. Add one talent points to a commander. Build a hospital. Okay, these are all things we've done. Your siege workshop is now available in the building list. We should manufacture some siege units to help our resource gathering. We got tons of stuff done. I'm not sure what they were, but we got we got presents. Okay, upgrade a commander to level 5. I don't- are we ready to do that yet? Let's see what happens. It really wants us to push the screen plus button. Okay, this is where the little books come in handy. So we get- We've got 50 of those. And, oh, we jumped up a level. Nice. A level 2. Use this to add 500. Or use... We've got 4 of these that add 1,000. So maybe let's use those first. And he just upgraded to level 6 just like that. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna save the those ones for the ladies. Let's see what we opened up here for our, our Bjorn. Okay, we could get a shield, which reduces skill damage taken. Tactical mastery, which gives us a buff. And deals 1% increased skill damage. Or we get a buff. After the primary commander uses the skill, active skill damage of the secondary commander is increased by 2%. Or we could go with burning blood. 
Normal attacks grant an additional three rage. Oh. Do these all take- oh, wait. First we've gotta place this one here to open up those paths. Okay. Well, I like the, the picture on this one. <laughs> Um, but maybe we should go with a shield. I think we'll probably, we should probably do the, the shield. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I want with. Now I want to go upgrade her. So we can use our little books to upgrade hers. So how far can we get her? Nice. Let's get her to level 5 at least. Nice. And she's got three talent points. So that one we already own. I guess it depends on which direction we want to go later. Health. An additional damage. Or when the army led by this commander has been reduced to 50% strength, increases attack. Increases normal attack damage. Oof, da. I don't know. I think I'm going to go to the right. So we've increased marching speed of archery units by 6%. Okay. So let's add some damage. Cool. We're getting places. Nice. I think we could probably go attack some more barbarians. Oh, we better collect some treasure. Yay. What about our city hall? We need to upgrade our wall and our scout camp. All right, let's hold off on that. We're gonna upgrade our archery range. And our soldiers are sleeping again. They need to do some more training. They just like to drink and sleep. Drink and sleep. Stable. Upgrade that. Um, how long is... Seven more minutes. Mmm... Let's decrease that by five. You know, it's been a while since we've upgraded our tavern. We should maybe do that. Okay, so we've got two th things building. Some soldiers are training. I, I don't think we can build that yet. Let's go defeat some barbarians. Wait, how? What did it tell us? How? What level? Defeat eight barbarian troops. Oh, we just need to defeat a few more. Two more. Uh, max level five barbarians can be attacked. Maybe we should go with a. Okay, fine. We'll go with a level five. Let's go kick some barbarian butt. 
Hey Gabriel, how are you today? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. We're checking out Rise of Kingdoms today. It's not my normal kind of game, but it's kind of fun. I'm doing alright. I'm really tired. It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> but I'm having fun. So, let's see. Um, we need to pick a soldier. We need our, probably this guy. Bjorn. Is this a game that you play? Are you interested in checking it out? This version is on the PC, but it's also a mobile game. Oh, you got it like three days ago? Cool. I am not an expert. I'm, I'm a button pusher, so... <laughs> I'm learning. I don't know much about the game yet. Are you enjoying it? How far have you leveled up? Like, your city hall, because they keep telling me level up to 5 and then 10. So we've made it to level 5. Um, and it hasn't taken that long, truthfully. You made it to 10? Awesome. You've got 172k power. That sounds really good. So have you made or joined an alliance yet? Because that is something I have not looked into. I think I applied, but that was an ex mostly an accident. <laughs> Fight for glory. We've recruited. Nice. Okay, we need some more barbarians. I think this time we'll send our girl out. Wait, is that who I wanted? No, that's a level one. Oh, but they're like right outside our door. We need to get rid of them. We're gonna... Let's, let's pick the... No, that's a save. Okay, I don't know what that is. I think I wanted to pick the girl, but he's going out again. Bjorn is going out again. So you joined an alliance and you're at war right now? Oh no! What does a, what does a war entail? Because we have not been in a war yet. And your alliance has 7M power. That sounds pretty good. Heal everybody. Okay. Upgrade the stable. And now we have uh, another request. Let's view it. <clears throat> so this is um, Territory 9. Alliance gift level 3, and they only have two open spots. If you're interested in being an officer, private message. Um, all rankings are subject to the leader and officer's discretion. The above power numbers are guideline and may not be a hard rule if you're active and participating. I don't think I have any rank yet. You think I should... You think I should join? Is this your alliance? <laughs> I 
I am enjoying the game so far. I'm kind of wishing they would have let me install it on my mobile device because then I could just like open it up and push all the red the red dots. Um, but it's on my PC. So I'm not sure um, how often I'll actually get to open it and play it because I'm usually doing other things, but it is interesting. I'm interested to learn more about um, like the history stuff that they've got in here. We haven't really ex got to explore much of that. There's a lot of extra guides you can read. So that would be interesting. Okay, I'm going to join it because I will get a present for doing it. <laughs> Great job, Governor. You have joined a big family. Now let me introduce Alliance's related functions to you. Okay. Here is the Alliance's profile. And this is the tag of Alliance. All right. Our tag is PFNT. Okay. Various features of the Alliance is showcased here. You can press them to learn more. Okay. Switch tabs here to check members, alliance list, rankings, and alliance. Please remember, when you are helping your allies, your allies are also helping you. This is the key to a strong alliance. All right. Oh, that's where we're at right now is this part. This is the information and then there's help here okay this is where you can request or give help that's the best alliance you've ever seen cool since I've only looked at a few of them and one of them was in a language I didn't understand um, I'm gonna take your your word for it because you you have three days more into this than I do. <laughs> Super cool. All right, so we could help some people. Um, but all of these people look like they have higher levels than we do. So I'm not quite sure we need to do any of that right now. Like in Axel, we don't even know how to do that ourselves. Okay, what is in the settings? Alliance log. Let's check that out. So they've got events going on. And then you can look at the members list and the battle log. Okay. So there's all kinds of stuffs here. Thank you for the follow. Very sweet of you. Appreciate it. Staying together sometimes is not a bad idea. Let's right. check the position of our alliance leader. Let's check the position of our alliance leader. Where are they? Oh my gosh, we are going through, we're fast traveling. On the top left corner, you can, the teleport you can the teleport, teleport there? Here. What? Tap the arrow on the top left of your screen and use the teleport feature to move our city close to the Alliance leader. Okay, so this is probably all the people here. So, okay, let's do that. Teleport near here. Oh, we gotta pick our spot here. I feel like I've really zoomed in here. At the same time, enemies are unable to move their cities into alliance territory, offering broad strategic possibilities. Okay, so where should we go here? We get to place our thing somewhere here teleport near here okay she told me what to do but i got distracted it was so exciting just moving so quickly i guess 
I want to teleport near here. Hmm. She told me what to do, but I don't know what it was. Can I just... Over here? Or right here? This is where it wants me to go? Build? Oh, those are our, our alliance resources, huh? This is where I am. Alright, so that's something I might have to go back into later. <laughs> oh, goodness. And that's gonna keep telling me these people need help, I think. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Oh, here we go. I need this is what I need, the teleporter. Teleports your city to a des designated location. Okay. So I had to actually find that little thing and All right. Let's see. We've already moved there. Okay, we're already there. So now we're surrounded by our fellow Alliance members. Okay, sweet. And our explorer is ready to go exploring, so we're gonna send him out. And let's see if we can upgrade our stable. Collect our resources. We completed one mission in the expedition, defeated level five barbarians, helped our allies. Uh, we need to open a golden chest in the tavern. Exploring gives you a lot of really good stuff. Cool. So I like sending our little guy out to explore, that's for sure. Oh, we got some sculptures and some corn. Nice. Oh, I have to open a golden chest. Okay. That takes a key and somehow we got some keys, so let's let's use them. Nice. And let's use our silver key. That's cool. So it looks like we can upgrade our soldiers some more. Build two lumber mills, open three silver chests, build a shop, we did that. Treasure, help your allies ten times. I guess I'm not sure how we're helping our allies, but it's happening. And we need to upgrade our academy. Yeah, we should probably get smarter. So what is your favorite part of this game, Gabriel? After 
spending three days and leveling up to ten, how, what is your, like, what are you most interested in when it comes to this game? Oh, okay, it speeds up their stuff. Sweet. Complete research into military discipline. We did that. You have no idea. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, there's. it looks like there's a lot of stuff involved in this game. Like the expedition thing. I didn't know that was a thing until it just popped up. Um, it looks like you want to probably try to keep most of these things at the same level. So you're not focusing on just one thing over another, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm only pretty much two hours into this. Oh, this says upgrade level, city hall to level three. Okay, we gotta fix our wall. That needs to go up. Let us speed this up because we have some boosts. We have a lot. Five minutes. Yeah. Nice. And then let's upgrade our scout camp. I know it's pretty early in the game, but it's it's nice that they're giving you the the speed options now, um, so you can get leveled up more quicker. That doesn't look like it's really gonna take that long, but we have these, so we might as well use them. The storehouse. Upgrade. Let's go defeat some more barbarians, because that's kind of fun. We'll, we'll do some more level 5 barbarians. Maybe take our, our uh, archer this time. If I remember how to switch it out. Yeah, let's attack them. I don't remember how to switch the captain. I don't want to push clear because I feel like that's a not a good good button to push. Click on the commander. Um, I just click on her or click on him and then it should give me a new Oh there we yeah, I remember that now. I'm sorry. I have not had enough sleep. I need to get my butt to bed. It it is well, technically it's 10 o'clock in the morning, but I normally go to bed at about 7 in the morning because I work overnight. So my brain is really getting slow. Upgrade stable. Did that? Alright, how is she going to do? Let's see. Ooh, that's painful. Yeah, we won! Sweet. Let's do one more. 
level one. Did I pick level one? I must not have switched this. Let's go level five, but we're gonna use Bjorn this time. Is there no level fives? Everybody else is too high, high level for us, apparently. All right, we'll do a level one. <laughs> We'll use her again. The game rewards you for basically everything you do, so it's really easy to get speed ups. That's good to know. I imagine, though, once you get farther up the skill tree and the leveling, it might take longer for things. Um, so far, it's been really quick. And it keeps giving me stuff, so that's cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Heal our troops. That was super fast. I think it's like automatically answering the calls for help. So I'm okay with that, that's fine. Scout camp. Now we gotta level up the scout camp. 13 minutes. Speed that up. Mainly because I want to set this to do its thing. Oh, I didn't- oh, when I click on that little help, it's asking the I better stop clicking on that button. See, I'm just a button clicker. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. I'm not gonna click on the hand symbol anymore. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. We're going to do some more research. I'm going to set the, all these things to train. Don't stop clicking it. <laughs> Everyone does it. <laughs> well, maybe everybody does, but I don't know. I don't want to be needy. We're gonna train these guys, and we're gonna train these guys. And then we're gonna send- oh, we have two scouts now? Nice. Okay, explore. Alright, and I think that is where I'm going to have to leave it for this time. Um, it is definitely past my bedtime. I'm going to be playing with my friend Luna and Kai, and we're going to play um, Gunfire Reborn tonight around 8 o'clock. Um, I know it's not on my schedule. It was kind of a spontaneous request, so we're gonna do it. Oh, we found a mysterious cave. I'll have to explore that next time. Um, and it's, uh, Gabriel, you say, it just asks people to help speed up your builds for free. Okay.
As long as it's not using up other people's resources or whatever. It's a cute little game. It's nice and relaxing. There's, It's kind of fun pushing buttons. Uh, I know there's a lot more in-depth you can go with it. Um, and maybe next time we play we'll learn some of the additional stuff that you can do. Like the expeditions. That look like it could be pretty fun. I will be playing, yeah, I'll be playing this again on my time, Wednesday 6 or 7-ish. I'll add it to my schedule. I don't think I have my schedule up for the coming up, the week coming up here. I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I have to remember how to close out my stream from my iPad. I am a bit of a noob at this. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.